Um, normally the 19s and first team play on a Saturday, and then the reserves either play, depends, it could be Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. So, so, so your team only plays once a week? Then? Once a week. Okay, alright. Yeah. Run us through what it, what it takes, like, I mean, uh, we know how, how they train here. How different and how intense is the training regime over there? Pretty intense training, two days, um, twice a day, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Wednesday has been a sort of, well for the young boys, um, school type day. Wednesday is normally a, a general easier day with the game being on Saturday. Depending on how you go on Saturday, it depends if you're in on Sunday or not. So mm -hmm. it's pretty much six days a week you're doing something, right. whether it's a training session or a game. S sort of with the, with, the, with, the, um, with the trainings that you have there, and, and especially what you had at Sassy and stuff like that with Cookie and, 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 and those guys there, in, in the form of like, what they're doing, is it similar? Yeah, well I yeah. found Martin Crook's training to be you know, the best in yeah. South Australia and I've yeah. gone over there and it's very, very similar yeah. to what yeah. they do over there. So That's I think good. that yeah. the Sassy boys now have a very good base to, to build on. Good. And sorry, Nat. No, Ryan, you going? Uh, Ryan, are you contracted to the club there for, for another period of years? I or? just signed a new contract before I left. Yeah, so is that a is that a senior contract? Or yeah, is it a professional, good, well so I've got another good, good lad for, oh, fantastic. Good lad. four and a bit years. Yeah, good. Oh, that That's is great. brilliant. <laughs> well done. Hey, look, the, the world's at these young boys' feet now, and we were yeah. saying earlier how you know, these, there's so much for these young boys to achieve nowadays, and Ryan's a, a perfect example of that. And uh, make, um, make the most of it while you can, Ryan, because mm. you know, soccer is a footballer's uh, it's it's it seemed that you might have a lifetime ahead of you, but it goes by very very quickly. And mm. just learn as much as you can and grab everything that you can in the, in the next couple of years. Yeah. And good to see that you've picked up this contract because mm. it obviously shows that the the club has got faith in you and mm. and they see you as an integral part of their team for the future. Mm. So it should give you confidence in itself that you know that do you, that when you do go back that you can uh, start yeah. to express yourself as a senior player as you're getting up. Yeah. Sure. I, think I wanted to ask you. Sorry, I right. wanted to ask you a question. When you scored the one and only winning goal against the Celtic under 19s, oh. a club that you grew up supporting, and now here you scored the goal against them. How did you feel then? Well, obviously I was excited. It was one of my first goals for Heart, so it was um, a great, well, a great time to score because with it being the end of the season, that put us into third, which was as Hearts as always the Celtic Rangers when we take the top two positions, so for us to be out there yeah. was quite good. So I was just more, didn't matter who it was scored, it was more important trying to win. But of course it was always that little bit special to score against Celtic. And of course you scored on debut when you we played for the reserves as well. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that was quite good as well because it was at the Castle, so you don't often get to play at the, the main stadium. So mm -hmm. I'd just come on as a sub and first couple of touches. Fantastic. I, I wanted to show a couple of photographs that we had too. Um, and another thing, it's always nice for players not to forget where they come from. Now, you visited Ingle Farm and brought with you a gift, which was a signed Guernsey. That's fantastic to be able to acknowledge the club where you started with. Yeah, well, that's pretty much all my close, well, my dad's in that, and my uncle, and some f close family friends who I've been going down there since I was, you know, four or five, just messing about on a Sunday, watching Ingle Farm play. So. They put a lot of when I went away with the Sassy and the you know the national well not national but South Australian teams you know it was two thousand to go for one week and you know they helped with money and sponsorship mm -hmm. so it was um, just a little gesture to to give back to say thank you. It's lovely. I think it's good while you're here as well, Ryan, to talk to players like you know Johnny and stuff like that. Players that have probably pl played at that sort of senior level and seen you know just something to take away for yourself. You know, catch up with the older guys. You know. Their period was, you know, important. You know, and I reckon a good percentage of them, if they were sort of had the, had the, you know, capabilities and everything that they had these days, would have made it for sure. We'll all be playing overseas. Mm -hmm. Johnny wouldn't be sitting here with us. <laughs> be some exactly. coach or some Newcastle or something. Yeah. <laughs> well, there, again, there, there again, I'm, I'm, I'm still here. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Thank goodness for that. I wanted to ask you the same question that I asked John. What's it like playing for your country? How do you feel when you're playing for your country? Yeah. It's hard to explain. There's no better feeling than, you know, running out there knowing that you're playing it. Well, for I haven't played for the national team, so I don't know that mm -hmm. feeling. But for that age, being one of the best, you know, 11 players, mm -hmm. it's just the feeling that 
it's too hard to explain unless you've actually felt it. And it's just a, a massive honour and you just, once you have one, you know, you want more and you're more and you want to hopefully go on and play for the Socceroos and you know, hopefully go to a World Cup and do all the stuff there. And, and when you no, were with some of these national teams, you had a, a couple of South Australians with you as well. Yeah, well, I had um, Matthew Cox, who is now going around in the lower leagues, Matty Mullen, who was at Adelaide United. Uh, I went away with, when I went away with the young Socceroos, Bruce the Giant and Nathan Burns, mm -hmm. a few you know, now A-League players were all in that team. So it was, even at that age, it was great to see how those players, who were a couple of years older, how they went about doing what they do. Mm -hmm. John, did you want to say something? Yeah, Ryan, look, I mean, it's, it's good that you have that ambition to play at the higher level. and. Uh, there's, there's no better feeling that when you walk out for your, for your, for your country and you hear the, the national anthem play and, and you must have that dream and you've got to keep on believing in that dream. You always must have something to, to strive for. Obviously you're, you've got your head screwed on properly yep. and by all means lad, you go for it and you, you, know, you deserve everything you get. Remember one thing, what you put into it is what you get out of it and you keep on putting in the way you have been now, the world's at your feet. I heard your brother's catching up as well, eh? Hey? Mm. Watch out, eh? Hey? Dylan's over there too. So, and mum and dad are really proud of you. I know dad yeah. is a big uh, mentor for you in your yeah. football. Yeah, he's been huge for my football. He's been been out there since, well, under sixes, under fives, both him and my mum taking me to, you know, Norlunga, trying to find the ground at eight o'clock on a Sunday morning. And it's just, you know, without them supporting me and helping me through, yeah. there'd be no chance I'd be where I am today. Well, can I just say it's fantastic that you've given us a bit of your time to be able to come back and visit yeah. us um, and let us know what's happening with you. Fantastic that you've been able to re-sign with them for another four years. So that is just brilliant. Sure, I mean, well done, mate. Well done, and, you. you know, obviously we're going to see a lot of you and, and hopefully in the Socceroos we'll be able to see you and go, yeah, you know, there's Ryan. We'll be supporting you wholeheartedly. Um, I want a little bit of trivia here. Did you know that back in, it's almost 51 years to the day, 10th of June 1957 that Hearts toured Australia yeah. and they actually uh, had one of their famous players, Tommy Walker over here, played at Adelaide Oval, beat South Australia 8-0 oh. and they were the first Scottish team to tour the Commonwealth. So there's a little bit of uh, uh, trivia for oh, all of you, yeah. trivia buffs. Again, can I just say congratulations and, and thanks very much uh, for, for being with us here tonight. We're not actually going to a break. We're going to shut, uh, close the show down because okay. we're running out of time. Um, I'd just like to say, um, uh, <clears throat> I'd like to actually uh, look at um, the FFSA website if that's possible. I'm going to bugger everybody up here because they're going to have to fast forward to where this is. Thank you. Look, what a brilliant crew. Look, they can do that magnificently. Anything you want to know about clubs or information, results, tables, fixtures, that's the website you go to, www.ffsa.com.au. Our contact address, you can contact us this way, it's adamna at optusnet.com.au or write to us at Full On Football, PO Box 319, Henley Beach 5022 or call me for sponsorship on 0421 507 948. And can I just say thank you to all our sponsors and we have two new sponsors that are going to be joining us next week. That is Divine Homes as one of our major sponsors. Yay, Divine Homes. And Glenelg Pizza House who's going to be supporting the Premier League. So fantastic. Thank you so much. We've got another one in the pipeline. Um, and I am absolutely thrilled. Thank you so much for your support. Um, I'd also just like to say that you can get us on the net if you have a look at the following um, screen. It's a big, huge mouthful, but I'll tell you a trick. If you just type in Full On Football at, on YouTube, it'll take you to that uh, spot straight away and um, you'll be able to watch us on the net. And lots of people have been. Happy birthday, John, for yesterday. Thank you very much. Absolutely Thank fantastic. You very much. Ben Moore, happy 30th. That's for the 13th of June. My daughter Lucy, 15 years old, on the 16th of June. And Tanisha Maynard, Carl Maynard's young lady, was born on the 4th of June. So congratulations to all. And you just had a birthday not very long ago as well, in May. Is that right? No? <laughs> I've got my facts wrong. I'm going crazy. Yeah. Happy birthday to everyone who's having a birthday. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thanks, Ryan, for coming on. Con, fantastic to see you. And I'll, I'll be looking out for your long sleeve shirt. OK, no And John. Thank you for all your entertainment yeah. that you gave me and My thank pleasure. you for coming on tonight. My I really pleasure appreciate and it. It's good to see you carry on the good work and there's people like you who keep uh, football in the limelight and, and well done, Nat. Yeah, well done, Nat. Thank you so much. Um, catch you out at the games and 
Remember, don't run on empty, get full on football. Good night. Here we go.